I'm Colin Fitzgerald with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at a 2020 257 RESS Puma 5th wheel by Palomino. It's a single slide rear entertainment model. We're going to go inside first, look at some features there. So, 257 RESS, there's the model Arrowhead Camper Sales, we're the dealer. We're going in, and we're going to go to our right up to the bedroom and work our way down. Uh, to the rear of the unit so upon entering to our right here is the hallway step up into our bathroom and bedroom area we'll go to the bedroom at the very front first so our bedroom here i'm going to stand up I, i'm not touching the ceiling uh, i'm about 510 so it does slope down a little bit toward uh, the very head of the bed yes you would a little bit again we're, we're in a uh, I guess an ultralight style profile fifth wheel. So still a lot of space though, as far as you can see on the sides of the bed. Uh, there's nightstands on both sides of the bed, pretty accent wall there at the front. Uh, lots of storage, hanging storage as well. I got windows in here. And I want to show you this, see that the sides and the foot of the bed, I can get around this. Um, it's, it's just, again, considering the size of the unit, it's, it's spacious. Uh, I have a TV hook up here, there's a bracket even right there do you hook up on the ceiling you can see that this unit does have 50 amp service and it's prepped for a second air if you wanted it right there um, it's got one ducted air already on it you could add a second air if you choose to but or like there's a, there's the air duct right there so it's ducted throughout already but if you want to add another one for redundancy or just for extra cooling you could do that the bedroom can be closed off you've got this accordion style curtain that closes it off if you want to do that overall though considering the size of this unit again a very spacious bedroom to our left here, I got a wall of storage. So you can see all sorts of different storage options here. Main area on the, on the, up here is this closet. So you've got big closet rod. Let's see if I can step back and show you. Uh, it, it's, it's a pretty big closet, regardless of the unit you're in. Again, again, considering the size of this, this is really nice. So nice big closet there. Miscellaneous drawers and cabinets below. This is kind of like a pantry. That's what I would at least expect it to be used as because um, right off the, the steps here to the kitchen so a nice pantry in this hallway as well could be a linen closet maybe both but again regardless you can see good depth on these cabinets too nice good storage here in this hallway across from that is the bed is the bathroom excuse me this corner is our shower glass shower doors got a full surround on this shelving built into it big skylight a nice shower in this corner is a medicine cabinet, storage behind it, sink, nice little countertop there, and then a foot flush toilet there. Nice bathroom. Then I'm going to turn, this is from this little landing looking down at our living room and our kitchen. So one big super slide, full depth slide there, living room at the back, kitchen up here in the middle. As far as the kitchen is concerned, I'm going to stand back let you see it all at once. Uh, you've got a nice big refrigerator to the right. That is a 12-volt uh, residential sized and style refrigerator. It does operate off of, again, 12-volt. Your battery, so you could operate off your battery, your truck, power converter like I am right now. Whatever you want to do, it's a nice uh, option compared to the standard gas electric. i got a beautiful stove and oven. This is a glass top stove cover. So this comes down and you can use this area for serving and prepping food if you want to. Little backsplash there behind that. Sink covers on that. Uh, again, if you want to use this area to serve and prep food, you can do that. A little bit of a countertop extension built onto that also. Storage below, a little, little spice rack area below, window, and then the storage above as well. Across from that is your booth. So if you need extra sleeping space, you've got a booth here for that. Storage below also. Nice big windows at the booth. Got day shades on these as well. Pull these down and show you that. Excuse me, night shades. Didn't mean to say that. Night shades on these. And at the back is the entertainment, uh, entertainment center and living room. So I got theater seats optioned in here right across from my TV. It's a good line of sight for watching TV. These theater seats do recline. They're Thomas Paine. Little storage and cup holders built into the middle as well. Nice big windows around those, lights above, storage above. Great window at the back. So if you got a good campsite with a good view, you can utilize that. Just miscellaneous storage at the back. Whatever you want to use it for, you've got it. Fireplace, storage below, kind of a little nook for, really for like maybe shoes or pets. 
their bowls and things there if you want to do that. Your DVD player, uh, radio, all that stuff above. TV above. And then I'm going to come to the back one more time and show you all this. Very spacious with this big slide. There's that, there's that area we're talking about, ducted air throughout. All right, so that's the inside of this unit. Take you outside, show you some things. Um, on the outside, you notice we walked up. It does have the solid steps on it. Really nice feature there uh, compared to the old style uh, fold up, I guess you call them. This unit does have that extended season package that Puma is, is promoting now and offering. Outside TV hook, hookup, six gallon gas and electric water heater. Nice size electric awning. So didn't point, didn't point this out yet, but it starts right here. You can see it goes all the way down just to the outside kitchen area. We'll see that in a second. But a nice big electric awning. It does have an electric light strip in it. And outside speakers are below it also. There's a little miscellaneous storage here. And then this is a uh, mini outside kitchen. So you've got a refrigerator. And then you've got this that pulls out. And you've got a sink. And then it pulls out one more time. And you've got a cooktop. So all this stuff packed into a small area. Just a nice use of space by Puma with that area. Electric jacks here at the back. Electric jacks at the front as well. Ladder on the back for easy roof access. Spare tire back here, and it's already prepped for a wireless backup camera if you wanted to add that. 50 amp service with that second air prep. This is storage below the booth. Water hookups here, got outside shower here, black tank flush above there as well. And then nice pass-through storage at the front. No carpet in here, just that same flooring, easy to clean, easy to get stuff in and out. There's actually storage at the front too, underneath the front overhang. Diamond plate is a rock guard there. Front cab is a fiberglass front cab, accent lights built into it as well. It's a 2020. 257 RESS Puma fifth wheel by Forest River. Single slide, rear living model, a little mini outside kitchen, 50 amp service with second air prep, big refrigerator, nice rear living area. That's Arrowhead Campers in Mayfield, Kentucky.